That wasn't good. I cheated, you guys. Let's go. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels for the Collective. If you click on this reading, it's something in here for you. Support your girl, right? Support your girl. <laughs> Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what is going on, guys? Holy Spirit, help me deliver a message of some kind, right? Holy Spirit, let's get those two. Let's get those four. There's someone around you guys that's very secretive. Or maybe you may have secret who who knows excuse me there's a cause for celebration for some of you maybe for all of you hell waking up every day is a cause for celebration is it not sure um i'll never apologize because it's never my fault type person so you could be dealing with that type of person you got a reason to celebrate feels guilty about having a privileged life hmm Somebody feels guilty about having a privileged life. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel. Ooh. I wrote that. <laughs> What's going on, Spirit? Family disputes, arguments, and disagreements. They must be fighting over that money. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel. Somebody's very secretive. Have faith in yourself, guys. Well, somebody feels guilty about having a privileged life. Spirits that have faith in yourself and continue to say positive affirmations. If you're not, start to say them. Oh, Spirit, what's going on, right? This, this family disputes and argument, this is tired energy. It's old. Don't let it pull you down, guys. Whatever that this is with the family disagreements or whatever, don't let it pull you down. It could be the same old argument over and over and over again. Same talk, different day, same shit. Wah, 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 wah. Spirits that continue to have faith in yourself and continue to say these positive affirmations before you curse somebody in your family to fuck out, right? So continue to say positive affirmations. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, I'm healing and moving on. See, have faith in yourself. So you're doing good. You're doing good. You probably have a cause for celebration. Maybe you're feeling a little guilty for having a privileged life. Maybe that's the reason for these family disputes and agreements because you have a privileged life. And maybe you're dealing with somebody that's a, uh, I'll never apologize because it's never my fault type of person. I don't know. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, this is invisible. This person can feed off your energy. It says I feed off your energy, guys. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? They feed off your energy collective because you have a self-made energy. Self-made. Like you're either up or down, but it's all on you. Like you don't depend on nobody else to make you happy. You don't depend on nobody else to make you laugh. You don't depend on nobody else to make you smile. You don't depend on nobody else to make you go get that job, get your ass up off that couch, get up out the bed, you've been in the bed. It's noon, get the freak up, you know? Uh, you you got self-made energy. You you just lit all the damn time, right? And this is failed second chances. So you gave this person a second chance and they fucked up again. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. I don't know who this is for, but the energy started coming through. Because sometimes I was chilling and then my energy got hyped. So it is what it is. But however, collective, you have a cause for celebration. And stop feeling guilty about your previous life if you are. If that's you, don't feel guilty about your previous life. You earned everything that you have, everything that you're doing, everything that you work for. Don't feel guilty about it. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. And not unsuccessful plans. Whoever's feeding off your energy, it's not going to go very far. It's going to be unsuccessful for them. They can't feed off your energy. Your energy self-made. And emotionally secure, loving family is important to you. Right? So you do love your family. 
she don't want the headaches, right? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. A stubborn and aggressive person is around you guys. It's a ram. Uh, July. Something's going to happen in July. Something did happen in July. Maybe this person was born in July. Maybe you were born in July, right? Victory in some endeavor. Maybe that's going to happen in July. Let's put some holy grail on this. Holy Spirit, holy angels. Ooh, that came out quick. Spirit said keep going, guys. <laughs> Spirit said keep going. Keep going. Uh, take it for granted, expecting you to always be there. Maybe that's it with the family. The Spirit's telling you to keep going, going, keep going, keep going. You have this magical energy. It's something about you. And I told you there, they feed off your energy. You're like a fucking unicorn, right? And they're also pissed with themselves for not being honest. One more spirit. This is, seems like a family dispute. Internet gang stalking. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. In jail without the bell. We're in jail. We're in jail because we failed. Holy Spirit, holy angels, what's going on here, right? Who's been secretive to the collective? Who's been secretive? Hmm. Somebody's been secret about a new beginning. Could be you. Maybe you're just keeping it to yourself because you got new beginnings, new ideas, being creative. Or maybe Spirit is telling you to keep these new ideas to yourself, right? Because Spirit said keep going, right? Mm, page of Wands. I'm sorry, my eye is itching. Page of Wands, maybe you're going to be traveling soon, right? Holy Spirit. Yeah, you could be taking a short journey. Either that or somebody wants this new beginning with you and they're being very secretive about it, collective, if you don't know about it, and they're coming to talk to you. That's what it looks like to me. They're on their way. They got the Ace of Wands, the Page of Wands, the Two of Wands. Somebody's coming to talk to you. Yeah. And they're the magician. They feel like, look, it could be good news. The element of surprise is going to shock the shit out of you because uh, I don't think you see it coming. Yeah, you don't see this one coming. This person is just going to show up. You could have ended things with this person before the world card in reverse. But that person, that's who it is. That person's coming back. You're going to get a visitor from this person that you walked away from before. So you don't see this coming, right? You don't see it coming because you're busy uh, fighting the family. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Spirit didn't support this before, guys. It didn't work before. It was not divinely guided. So, but that person's coming back. They feel like they have everything you want. But see, this is Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Either that or they could have walked away from something. A family, a Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, right? So somebody's coming in that you don't know about. Yeah, they love you. This could also offer security. It could be a helping hand for you guys, right? You either fulfill this person emotionally or they could be feeling a little smug right now, a little pleased with themselves because they're coming in. These are nine of cups. And they're coming. Their money is improving. They're uh Four of Pentacles and more money is coming their way. So that's what's allowing them to come your way. Um, that Ten of Pentacles ended in, it didn't end in a victory. Six of Wands in reverse. Holy Spirit for the collective. Yeah, they're releasing themselves from some devil, some devilish energy, some type of attachment. The Empress in reverse. Could be a baby's mom, someone with children, something like that. Could be a mother, but they're walking away. If there's no more stability there, four of wands in reverse. Could have been a divorce. And here they are in their king of cups. 
being emotional and gentle, a little bit shy. Holy Spirit, anything final? Yeah, they walked away. Lover in reverse. Eight of Swords in reverse. They could have been married for a while as well in reverse. They didn't follow their intuition before. And that's why things was unbalanced. But they're moving forward now. They're in their chariot. King of Pentacles in reverse. Could have been divorced. Told you. Five of Swords. They're just moving on now. They're not looking over their shoulder. They're like, I'm out. They, they do have some frustrations a little bit. And it's like, they got victory in this situation, but it was a hollow victory. It's like, no one really won, but they drew the sword first, I guess. Yeah, final judgment. This is the only decision that could be made under the circumstances, they say here. But they're still arguing. Somebody still wants to fight with them about it. They're still arguing and fighting because they feel that this was deception. Two of Swords. But the person is standing on their ground. They're like, look, this is my decision and I'm done. They're not hopeful in that situation no more. They're leaving that Queen of Pentacles in reverse. They're like, I'm out. They about to go celebrate and go be happy. Three of Cups of Right. They do have some regrets. They lost some money. But they still have enough to salvage to get back on their feet. All right, guys. This is your reading. You got something going on in your family. And then you got somebody creeping up on you in the background. <laughs> That's going to tap you with the word love. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Is it past my bedtime? Is it creeping on you? Well, it's almost 11. Y'all know I don't. We'll see. I won't be on here past midnight. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace. Did I hear peace? Lord have mercy.